Hello and welcome back to the Intellect series. Today we are going to be doing some higher level jobs than normal because what I want to do is get to building a base but I don't want to start mining stuff before I have the best level of Miner 69er and Mother Load that this build is going to get which is going to be 4 and 4. I'm not going to go full 7 strength, I just don't need it. The slack will be picked up quite comfortably by advanced engineering anyway which is something I want to get. So we don't have to bother with the last couple of ranks there. So we're just going to do some harder POIs because I think it would be really interesting to see how the stun baton, you know, holds in those harder POIs. And as of the morning of day 15 here, I have just turned the game up to nightmare speed all the time. So this is officially an insane nightmare series, but not a full insane nightmare series because the first 14 days obviously weren't always nightmare speed. I'm not going to call this an insane nightmare series but all the zombies from now on will be nightmare speed because the stun baton was just absolutely trashing everything i think it's unfair so i gave the zombies a bit of an extra chance there with some nightmare speed so i want to get the tier 5 complete because i'm interested to see what i could get there or if anything is even of any use to me at this stage we could always get a good robotic turret from the quest i suppose um but what i really need is the xp for minor 69er and mother load so that i can start gathering resources and building a better base Oh, you got no tier 5 infested? That's boring. Here's a tier 4 infested. Crack cafe. Oh, I'm interested because I have basically nothing boosted right now. Let me see. I've got mining tools boosted and that's about it. So we can probably just knock out mining tools really quickly. I want to do tier 5s. They're kind of far away and I would rather do infested tier 5s because you can do them quicker. But this is all going to contribute and I mean it's given me a crack cafe. I can't say no to that. So let's go see what this tier 4 infested job has to go against my stun baton. And we can't double loot this because I've already looted it once. Although it looks like I missed a couple of containers. Scrapping. Something I really could do with a little more of actually is scrapping books, so this might help me out. Right, let's get in here. Let's see what it has for me. Okay, four zombies in the first room. That's definitely more than usual. You know what, I'm going to loot this after I've cleared it. I'll probably get a level out of it, which could be useful for deciding what I want to get out of it. So far, most of them have been feral and I've been able to deal with it. Oh, that's a lot of red markers. Oh, that's everybody. Right, the roof could be an interesting one. Hi, anybody up here? No, just three. See ya. Right, I still don't really want to jump into that room and try and fight them. The Sun Baton's good, but this is insane, and they are nightmare speed, so... You know, I'm not going to commit suicide just to show how good the intellect build is. I'm going to take fights somewhat intelligently. Holy, hello. Feral Biker. He got his hit in. Ow. He would have been nightmare speed either way though. All my ferals have always been on nightmare speed. Keeps things slightly interesting for me, you know? Ooh, insta-kill. Alright, I didn't get a level. I overestimated how much XP I was going to get from that. I forgot this was a tier 4 infested, so it's actually a tier 3 with a bunch of harder zombies in it. Fills digest and some stuff. Infested crate. Level 6 pipe baton, thanks. Love that. Right, let's pop open these book crates and see what we get. Tools Digest, Iron Breaker Moss Schematic, nice. And Vehicle Adventures. 69 on the tools. Lighting, Ranger. Uh, tools Digest, Dusters, Lighting. Tools Digest again, Vehicles and Big Hitters. Now I'm not really looking for an auger, but I might just make one for the sake of having one later. Two Forge Heads I can't use and Shogun Messiah 1. Foam Cooking and a Blueberry Pie, nice. And Gun Magazine. I'm open to learning to craft better guns of all types because Intellect doesn't really specialise in any of them, so I can really just use whatever. 
Ah, there's that sealed shipping container. Another thing people were, of course, moaning at me about. They do not like it when I miss the shipping containers. Uh, oh, a pipe rifle. I'm saved. Thank you, comment section. You're the real heroes. <laughs> Scrapping for fun. Uh, the double clothing pocket mods one. Nice. That means I can open up a couple of extra armor slots if I make those. Home cooking. Tools. Home cooking again. Tools cooking. Electrical traps. Tools. Clubs. And of course, she would give me a level 4 steel pickaxe the next day. I'll take some more crafting skill magazines and some steel. So why not? Another tier 4. Hotel Zombona. Sure. Hammers, fists, scrapping. Decent XP and decent money. And I certainly wouldn't mind being able to make like a level 5 impact driver. So my scrapping skills are terrible. And the ratchet only helps so much. Here we are. So far the nightmare speed thing has not massively been able to affect me. You know when all the zombies are locked in place it doesn't really matter what speed you put them on. Oh hey there. Here's the room I always miss. Magnum quality too. That's pretty easy. Oh, just work lockpicks, please. Uh, big hitters, some more lockpicks. The rest of this, I don't really care. Might get a decent quest reward, though. Tier 4s are pretty good. So, the military helmet's worse than mine, and it doesn't sell very well. The military armor, like, you put a bunch of mods on it, you're better off putting that on a steel equivalent, you'll get, like, twice as much. So, I'll take a crafting skill magazine bundle and more forged steel. I'll take a tier 4 fetch clear. 1.5 kilometers away or whatever. Right, let me go clear out my inventory, get some gas, and we'll fly out to Fort Camo, and we'll try and take it on with the Sun Baton. Let's see what the Dew Collectors have produced. Not very much yet. Still, it's something. Yeah, we've got 23 water, let me turn that into glue at the chemistry station. We've got one skill point, I'm actually going to spend that on... Uh, one point of advanced engineering now because that'll give me cheaper glue and since I'm starting to actually produce the glue that seems pretty smart. Also I need that gas and you make me the full 23 glue or whatever. Nice. Let's fly out to Fort Camo. Has this one got landmines around it? I think I can stand on landmines actually so I don't think it matters too much. Yeah I have max turbine combat so even if it does, which it does, I can stand on them. Peep shop. You weren't even part of this POI. Oh, looks like there's a wandering horde coming in. So I'm guessing you open that down there and immediately spawn zombies on me. Yep, that was 
pretty obvious. Do you guys want to maybe not do that? Okay, there's more. Oh, hey there, buddy. I think I killed him. And we're done. Right, let's get the supplies and the loot and leave. Tools Digest, Handy Lens, more lockpicks, and some diamond. The really nice thing about the Stun Baton is I profit so much ammo from these jobs because I don't use any ammo. Um, level 6 Steel Spear. You couldn't just give me a Stun Baton. Uh, give me the crafting magazine and more steel. I have a Crucible, but it saves me tiny, tiny amounts of time. Gas and Gas Store 5? Sure. I think tomorrow I can get Tier 5 complete done. It's doing Tier 4s, maybe a couple of Tier 3s here and there. If not, we can definitely get it done by the day after tomorrow, because I am pretty deep into Tier 5 here, even just doing Tier 4 jobs. Oh, it's this place. Been a different town. Start that, head inside. Well, that was poorly timed. Really? She infected me on the first hit. This game. Oh, honey. You are forgiven, game, this time. Another Tools Digest. Oh, I took a hit from every single one of them. Give me one moment. Oh, I didn't actually... Oh, probably stopped the bleeding. I was going to say I didn't actually get lacerated. I was looking for a first aid bandage there. Let me pop that real quick. That's going to slow me down a touch because of the uh, attack speed, but I can deal with it. Ooh, some free bellows. Nice. I'm just going to take a first aid kit and have a permanent overheal. Can you hit that door, please? I don't want to open it. I just have to play a little bit slower and that's all. Ooh, that's a reload time and a half. Uh oh. Again with the concussion game. Okay, there's another one there. Kill point. Nice. Uh, what did I want to put that into? Probably just minor 69er. Right, let's fly home, I'll get a cast from my arm, and I don't know, see what we get for this quest, I guess. Go through the barbed wire, just go right through it, it's quicker. Yeah. Right, so I'm going to sort out my inventory and cure this damn arm. Here we go, a cast. I'll also just cover myself in steroids. 
oh, of course, because I have physician so high up, using a cast makes my uh, injury way faster now. That's pretty cool. I forgot about that. Anyway, let me sort out my inventory. So I'm just going to wait out my arm here. I was going to mine some lead during the night, but don't really want to make my arm any worse. So I'm going to drink this water real quick because I did just take some steroids. And I'll just sit in my base and wait until morning. We can turn in that reward first thing and uh, start some more quests and get tier 5 done, hopefully tomorrow, if not the day after. Okay, so it's morning. I have 9 water that I boiled up, but let me check the do collectors and see if they've produced anything a little bit more useful for me. Okay, 20 total. That's another 20 glue if I have the bones for it, which I probably do. I am, um, yeah, still, still got a good amount of bones, missing out more on water. Uh, now just to wait for Trader Wreck to open while well, my arm heals. I'll take those and that. An infested clear. Tier 5. Hey, jerk. Arts rent a car. What? What I'll take that. Open this up. Bunch of random stuff. Alright, let's go do that job. I'm gonna go ahead and assume that my arm will be healed by the time I arrive. <laughs> oh, this PY is gonna be an absolute clusterfuck. My arm actually isn't healed yet. <laughs> I can wait 15 seconds. Oh, I didn't bring any first aid kits. I'm gonna die. Oh well. There we go. I suppose I should at least try to try in this POI. And this is a tier 5 infested clear, right? Yeah. It will require a little bit of effort at least. And some beer. Hello. Oh, hey. Holy shit. Well, that was a lot of birds. Sliding. Why do I feel so slow? Like, why can I only move at this speed? That was rude. Oh, that's a lot of you. There's a bunch of books in this POI. I need one more handy land book and it's out the loot table. Where am I actually supposed to go? Oh. oh. Okay, that's a scary room. Then again, my baton has a 10% chance to simply insta-kill anything, so maybe it wasn't. Okay, health bar. I'm gonna take some skull crushers. I need to give myself an edge. Or one behind me, really. Aim for a bandage. 60 health from that. Thank you, physician. Ow. Handy land. Nail gun quality 5. Will not be crafting one of those. I'll keep my level 1. That was a light attack. Another bandage. You know, a preemptive health bar wouldn't be a terrible idea because it would give me more crit resist. And it will still heal my injuries faster if I take an injury. Hmm. 
I expect this room to possibly maybe need some weapons to actually be fired off, you know? It is the final loot room of a tier 5 infestation. Yeah, I've seen worse. Hey, buddy. How did you hit me? Here comes the mutated zombie. He's a little bit confused up there. Not bad. Good bundle. Nice. And some mods. Tools, scrapping, uh, clubs, me. Shotgun auto turrets, nice. All right, let's go back to Trader Wrecked and see what you get for a tier five these days. What's he giving you as a reward, hmm? Steel in a crafting magazine bundle, no doubt. Sounds like him. Ah. I will take that. Do I want the sniper rifle? I honestly think the tactical assault rifle is going to serve me a lot better than most other weapons. I, don't, I really don't need crafting magazine bundles. I'll take the sniper and sell it back to him with some mods. I need more inventory space. That. There's a skill point to put it in. Mother load. We are officially going back into pure intellect now. I'll get probably calculated attack and then advanced engineering. Do you have anything else here, Wrecked? Eh, they're all full tier 5s. I don't want to do that. Tier 4 and pissed clear. I'll take that. You got anything good, Wrecked? You reset today, didn't you? Oh, custom things. Custom fittings, what can I put them on? Uh, here will do. Right. Level 6 impact driver. Scrapping is finally going to be worth doing. Let me do a little bit of inventory sorting and I'll head out and do that tier 4. I want the tier 5 complete, damn it. Grab first aid kits this time so that I can actually, you know, heal if I really need to heal. I rarely need a first aid kit, but it is a nice sense of security to have one in your back pocket at all times. Here we are. Let's get started. 69 on wiring, nice. Whoa, that's a lot of zombies. This is an infested clear, I forgot. Two tools digesting that one. That's the joys of having four ranks in something. You start seeing that. Those digest again. We are gonna power to the end of this. I wasn't even trying to gather those today. Scrapping for fun. Yeah, that's pretty much a useless skill at this point. Hey there, feral biker. Why does it sound like something horrible is coming behind me? There is something horrible coming behind me. I'm gonna get back outside real quick. What's happening out here? Wandering horde, I assume. Another iron shovel? I mean, mine is better, so... Oh, insta kill. That's a lot of zombies. Oh, insta kill. Are you a feral biker? Can't tell. We not clear? Guess not. Got the loot though. Ammo. 
Why am I falling through the world? Do me a favor and just don't do that again. Uh, electrical traps better up. Right, let's hunt down the last few zombies that it considers a part of the POI. I'm assuming they're in this last building over here. Still not clear. Upstairs then, I guess? Oh hi. Having a nice set there. I insta killed him. <laughs> Still more of you. More on the roof. All right, let's head back to Wrecked. I don't think that's tier five complete yet, so this might go into tomorrow. Ah, level five robotic turret. We'll take that to replace my level four. And I'll take some more forged steel. Ah, tier 5 complete. Um, we are doing military armor and solar could be useful for this build late, late, late in the game. Decent solar cells this time. Oh, I dropped a bunch of my armor and that was silly. Let me sell them some things here. Call that back up. <laughs> Let's see, is this better than my boots? Yes. Are these better than my gloves? Yes. Are... This is not better than my helmet, but my helmet is level 6, so that does make sense. Better legs. And of course, more slots is always nice. Better chest? Barely. You would hope for a lot more from a level 5 chest, but we'll find a replacement. Right. So we got some pretty decent armor there. My armor rating is now... 55, we went up about 10%, and I got the solar bank bundle, and I will upgrade all of this stuff with various armor mods I find throughout the playthrough and sell it back to him down the line. I have loads of money anyway. Um, so I could technically do some more and I would work towards the tier 6 complete, but I don't really want to. Uh, that can be saved for later. Let me put some stuff away really quickly and I'll get back to you. Right, really quickly, let's check the dew collectors. A little bit more washer, I'll turn that all into glue as soon as possible. Oh, you know what I need more than anything right now? The last rank of art of mining. That's what it is, that's what I need. Because that'll give me 20% more ore, right? Or have I already done that? No, I need rank 3, which would give me 10% more ore from coffee, as well as giving me 20% more ore overall from the completion bonus. I don't actually have much coffee. Water has been too tight for glue, so we'll need to catch up on that. We could always buy some from the trader, I suppose. Where can I get the last rank of art of mining? Mailboxes are going to be your best bet for that, aren't they? Is there like a town I haven't explored very thoroughly? There's Trader Joel's town. I've It looks kind of rural and relatively unexplored. Let me go down there and see if I can hunt down the last Art of Mining book. I need to really hit my stride with mining, and then, if not, then, you know, it happens, I guess. I'm gonna check in with Trader Joel, see if he's selling the particular Art of Mining book. I don't have any money on me, but getting money isn't particularly hard, so if he does have it, I could always get my hands on it. No oh, good, I'm thirsty. Do you have what I need? No. Right, well, let's just drive around and look through the mailboxes then. Paper, mining, and paper. Art of mining, but not the one I need. Good sign, though. Another art of mining, not the one I need. <laughs> Night Stalker. Great heist. Night Stalker again. There's always the mailboxes in the city, like the newspaper dispensers, I think they're called. Those could be good as well. Wasteland treasures, one I already know. Paper. Paper. Oh yeah, the Hogzilla Ranch has a mailbox. Paper. 
Oh, hey, there's this post office. I think I've been here, though. Have I? That doesn't look like it. There's one thread in the paper. I'll do this first room. Kills Digest. Another kills digest. Our mining. Right then, so we can officially mine properly. Let's see, how many more tool books do I need while I'm out here? Seven more? Um, let's have a drive around for more mailboxes, I guess. We can find seven of those books just to complete it. Let's see here, Joe's USA is a really easy to reach loot. Pick hitters. Let's see. Not that one. Really, there's a normal door exposed here somewhere. Oh, we'll just do the POI, fuck it. Home cooking, nice. I believe. Okay, one. Something. A magazine extender. Hmm. Could use that to make guns sell better later on. Let's continue the mailbox searches, though. Unless I find another book-related POI, or just a, a POI I know has a decent amount of books. You know, I think these mailboxes, like the house mailboxes, are more geared towards skill books, like art of mining and that kind of thing. I think we want to go a little bit into the town here and look for the newspaper dispensers. Now, there is a cracker book here, but I'm assuming I've been here. Oh, yeah, I've been here. <laughs> Shotgun weekly? Yeah, could be useful there. Tools digest, nice. Five more. I see a tool crate in the back of that. Skill point. Let's go for some. Oh, it's got to be calculated attack. Get even more attack speed with my batons. Another tools digest. Four more. Hmm, there is a passing gas here. These are a decent one for tools. Okay, we got two passing gas containers in here, I believe. One, nice. Need three more. Two. Need two more. It's nice because it's the only thing I have any points in that I still have to finish. So it's just absolutely everywhere. Night Stalker. Is there no other passing gas containers in here? Is it just the two downstairs? That kind of sucks. Oh well, let's keep going. I can guarantee another couple of passing gas containers, though I can pretty much guarantee the last couple of books I need. There's this place. It's another car PY. Is there a way I can, like, look in and see the end loot and know if it's worth my time? I hope the end loot isn't... Oh! I was going to say I hope the end loot isn't in the basement, but I see it there, so I'm good. There's... Oh, two. Perfect. We can now make level 5 augers and chainsaws. Which I don't need, but I part of me just really wants to do that. Two electrical traps. Right, let me fly home. The gyrocopters actually in the motorcycle's inventory. I can probably make an auger, to be honest. I should have all the motor tool parts and stuff that I need. And the chainsaw. I won't really have the gas to use them, though. I'll have to do another mining trip in the desert. Which, ironically, will be done with a steel pick, because steel picks are better at mining oil shale. Let's see. Glue. I have a bunch more than that, of course. I also need mechanical parts, pipes, 
There's pipes, leather, uh, actual duct tape. Oh, there's the rest of my glue. Uh, springs, I have those. They'll just make six duct tape to start with. And then for the auger and the chainsaw, I'll need five more tool parts, a bunch of steel. Uh, more tool parts, where are they? There's three. I know I have more than that though. There's a bunch more steel. There's an engine. There's another engine. Uh, what was the thing I needed? Motor tool parts. Yeah, 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 yeah. My storage system, quotation marks, is terrible. There we go. So that should be everything I need. I just need bicycle handlebars. And of course, I'll do like a tier 5 infestation tomorrow, and it'll give me it as a reward, but let me have this, damn it. Do those up. Is that really all you need? You don't need glue or anything? Cool. There's one. Cue up the auger. I think next I'm going to try and get the 4x4 just for the sake of it. It's like the one thing in the progression I haven't got yet, so I may as well, right? The auger and all the mining stuff I've done would definitely help with getting iron and then turning all that into forged steel to then make the 4x4, because that's the main limiting factor. The 400 steel you need. And let me queue up a chainsaw as well. There we go, perfect. I will wait for these to craft and get back to you. And there's my auger and my chainsaw, just in time for the morning of day 17. So yeah, we got a decent amount of stuff done in this video. Uh, we got the art of mining finished, we got harvesting tools finished, I got my Miner 69er and mother load as far as I'm going to take them for this playthrough. Um, and we started on getting some calculated attack, we got the auger, we got the chainsaw, we got the tier 5 complete with the military armor. Uh, what else did I get for my tier 5 complete? A solar bank, that'll be useful later. Anyway, that's going to do it for today's episode. Thank you to my channel members and patrons for making this video possible. And thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.